So this thing's uh, pretty solid. I like it. Uh, I like it a lot more than a tent. You can literally just walk it wherever and just camp. You know, you don't have to worry about setting it up or too high of grass or anything like that. You just walk it right over it, set it down, and here you are. This isn't my first one. I built two other ones, but this is my lightest. This is definitely my lightest one. truck driving back here I'm out in plain sight so I know they see me I, uh, I enjoy this little Coroplast camper. It's pretty tough. It's just Gorilla Tape and corrugated plastic. Uh, the Coroplast for three sheets is what I used for this. Cost me $112. And I spent about $50 in Gorilla Tape. So, you know. <laughs> <coughs> But uh, I think a lot more people should make these, man. They're useful for sure. Uh, Paul Elkins, I don't know if you guys know who that is, but that's the guy who pretty much came up with these ideas. He uh, zip ties all his together and then puts Gorilla Tape over it, but I didn't want to have to zip tie everything together. That's a lot of hole poking. And if you want it completely waterproof, I, you know, which it works for him, that's for sure. But I figured I'll just Gorilla Tape it and then uh, Flex Seal it. So I haven't gotten over to Flex Sealing yet, but I got to get me some. And then I'm going to Flex Seal around all the tape seams and stuff like that. So this is the first time I took it out and... Uh, Pretty much just hanging out for now. I'm not gonna start a fire or anything. It just got done raining all day, so. So in case anybody was wondering about the ventilation in here, under here see I got two nice slits up there and uh, my air just comes up you know through the tarp and then in the front it's not an actual door so uh, there's plenty of ventilation you know
So just in case anybody was wondering how this thing is put together, literally just I cut out two pieces of coral clasp and you know threw it down over my cart and taped them together so they stayed together and then uh, cut out another piece and rounded it over, taped it, taped it, you know, took another piece, cut it out, rounded it over top of that piece, and that's what made this whole back piece, and taped it, and, and uh, I cut out a uh, another piece, <laughs> and then taped it for here for this little awning piece, you know, it's all just tape and coral plus, super simple, weighs about uh, 50 pounds, the whole entire thing. Uh, attached to the uh, cart it weighs 50 pounds with the cart and uh, I say when you're pulling it you know when you're pulling it right here this is probably about I don't know 15 20 pounds is what you're pulling unless you load it with gear but when you do load it you're gonna want to shove all the gear to the back you know so all the weight stays in the back and you won't be pulling as much but this is the lightest this is the uh, the lightest one that I've built so far. It's the third one. And uh, like I said, I gotta get some uh, sealant so I can go ahead and hit all this tape. Flex seal, I think. And I did put a porch light on here. I didn't know how much I'd be needing it if my door was up, but if I was sitting outside, a little porch light on there I got one of these inside but uh, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and figure out a velcro situation for the bottom of this door but all in all I like it I used my uh, bear hard tarp that thing it failed on me so I went ahead and seam sealed it and then uh, just cut it up tied it to here So, uh, I'm not feeling this spot anymore, so let's get out of here.
And just like that, we arrived at camp spot number two within two minutes. <laughs> and as cheesy as all that was, you know, it's still cool, man. It's just like, you know, everybody goes out and pitches tents and stuff like that. And that's awesome because I love hot tents. I don't like tents, but, you know, I like... I like hot tents. I like floorless tents, you know. Because if it leaks, it's not that big a deal. You know what I mean? But this is just cool. Because it's cool for the experience, but... It's also almost like a luxurious way to camp, you know? It's like there's not much in there, but it's definitely got an advantage of being a lot warmer in there than it is outside and, you know, much more weather protecting, you know? Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed my DIY pool camper build and uh, testing it out in the woods. I enjoyed it myself. And as always, till next time.